Hey everyone, nice to have you back for some most amazing top 10 countdowns. I'm your host, Chade Arena. Now I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with the SCP Foundation. It stands for Secure, Contain, Protect. And it's a conspiracy theory gold mine. It's basically an organization that may or may not be affiliated with the government. They're in charge of documenting and containing supernatural and extraterrestrial items, artifacts, and beings. It's kind of like a creepier version of Pokemon. There's info about these things all over the internet and they're documented in numbered files. So today we're going to be going down the top 10 SCP scary theories. Like always make sure you like, comment, subscribe and hit the little notification bell. Make sure you stick around for the top 2 because we save some that are super strange. And without further ado, let's get into it. But first let's give a big shout out to our sponsor. Summertime is right around the corner so that means it's time to invest in some high quality sunglasses. And there's no one better to go with than Shade Tree. Shade Tree are sunglasses that are made from wood, titanium, and carbon fiber. All glasses have premium polarized lenses and come with a microfiber soft case and a bamboo hard case. Very fancy. They have over 50 styles and looks for both men and women, so you should have no problem finding a design that suits you. Shade Tree has so many different styles. These two, I would say, are my personal favorites. I'm a huge fan of these. So if you want to own a pair of these awesome sunglasses, make sure you use the coupon code TOP10 and you'll get $5 off any purchase. The link for the coupon code will be down in the description below. So make sure you get some sunglasses to finish up your summer look. Now let's get into it. Number 10 is SCP-2901. This one is a living creature said to be like a giant owl. It has glowing yellow eyes which can use to see in the dark. Which is great because this is a nocturnal animal. It's also a carnivore, so it'll probably try to eat you and your whole family. Hopefully it doesn't like the taste of humans, so it just massacres someone's livestock. It's said to be a very solitary animal, so it won't try to hang out with you. But so far it just sounds like a really big bird. What makes it so special? Well, it has the ability to manipulate time and space. This creature has the time stone and the space stone. It can use these powers to look into the future. How did the SCP capture a giant owl that can peer into the unknown future? I have no idea. That's not for me to find out, that's for you guys to find out. I just give you super strange, unbelievable information with nothing to back it up. That's more fun for me. Number 9, SCP-2373. I feel like we should start naming these things, they all just have numbers. Maybe that's what we'll do in the comments of this video. Everyone make up a Pokemon name for all these different weird creatures. Anyways, SCP-2373 is a creepy monster that is just arms, torso, and a head. It is kept in a locked room with two doors and constantly in a dormant state. This one's kind of like the Snorlax of the SCPs. Now this thing just stays in a dormant state just as long as it's there, as long as you don't look at it. If two people enter the room where this creature is being contained and look at it, nothing happens. If one sole person enters the room, looks at it, this thing will stare back at them with unbroken eye contact and then teleport behind them. Continue to stare at them and then teleport back to where it was and return to the dormant state. It's unknown to the SCP how this thing teleports. I mean, I feel like that should be obvious. Who knows why it doesn't? Maybe it just wants to show off, but it has like a little bit of stage fright, so it can only do it when one person's there. Number eight, SCP 2468. Now we're gonna get into some really creepy ones. So this SCP typically takes the form of a little girl. Why? I already told you, I don't have the answers here, no more whys. By the end of this video, you're gonna have way more questions than you came in with. But from what I've been able to research, and by research, I mean skim through poorly designed conspiracy theory websites, is it takes the form of a little girl to hunt. This SCP requires 55 kilograms of meat per day in order to sustain itself. It can also teleport randomly, so it can't be locked up by the SCP. But the SCP have been able to get at least one into a docile state by constantly feeding it. However, the ones that aren't satiated will teleport somewhere so they can grab someone's attention. They'll turn into the form of a little girl, go into the fetal position, and start crying out for help. When someone approaches them, the person that approaches them will start levitating and then disappear. Most people never come back. Around 90 to 95% are never ever ever seen again. But the ones that come back are always missing 55 kilograms of muscle tissue. It sounds like the best weight loss plan ever. Number 7, SCP-2213. This SCP is the most terrifying of all of them. It's a door. 
Some of you are probably like, Che, what the hell? You just gave us a creepy teleporting girl, and now a door? This is super lame. Well, I lied. This isn't the scariest one. We're only on number seven. But this one is super creepy. So this isn't so much of a door as it is a gateway. Every time the door is left unlocked, approximately every two minutes, a six foot tall reptilian creature will walk through the door. They're scaly, they have extremely good hearing, they feel no pain, and have no internal organs. When the door is locked, you can hear the creatures on the other side trying to work their way through. The creatures who come through are not very bright. They seem to have extremely low IQ. They're most likely the initial troops scouting out an area for a possible invasion. Number six, SCP-2301. For our next one, we got a hostile shapeshifter. This guy can take the form of anything, but typically transforms into creatures from Japanese or medieval lore. So think of like demon ninjas or goblins. Now the only way you can kill this SCP is by mimicking the time period it's representing. So if this monster turns into some sort of medieval troll, you have to put on plate armor and then start swinging a sword at it. If you don't do this properly, it'll transform into something even more powerful and you'll have to try again. Everything needs to be perfect in order for this weirdo to cooperate. This must be what it's like to shoot a movie with Edward Norton. Number five, SCP-096. This next one's kind of the awkward teenage boy of SCPs. It's 2.3 meters tall, has pale skin with eyes that have no pigmentation and arms that are disproportionately long to the rest of its body. It's kept in a cell that's five by five by five cubic meters, so just a big cube cell. The cell has pressure sensitive plates and motion lasers so the SCP can always tell where the creature is in the cell. There are no cameras used for monitoring 096. If anyone makes eye contact with it or looks at it through a camera, it starts to lose its mind. It will cover its face and start screaming and then try to kill whichever person looked at it. It's considered extremely dangerous because if it were to escape, there could be a chain reaction of people looking at it and then it kills the person that it looks at and then it kills the next person who looks at it and so on and so forth. Like I said, it's just like a weird teenager. Just leave him in his room and he won't bother anybody. Number four, SCP-173. Now we got something that is almost indestructible. SCP-173 is a solid rap name, but also the most violent SCP we've had on the list so far. Its body is made up of concrete and rebarb, and it's extremely durable and has killed many SCP members. If for whatever reason people need to enter the cell, it must be in groups of three. At least two people must be in direct eye contact with 173 at all times. As long as someone's looking at it, then it remains still. But as soon as eye contact is broken, it will move extremely fast. Some people say it can even teleport and it will snap the neck of the person in the room. SCP-173 sounds like a terrible host. Everyone who comes over just ends up dead. Number three, SCP-874. If you like creepy dolls, then this one is going to be your favorite. SCP-874 is a living mannequin. It moves in stiff and rigid motions, and it has plastic skin and hair and clothes that are made out of polyester. If 874 is ever damaged, it'll leak a black plastic substance. It's thought that the creature might be trying to mimic a human right down to the blood. It requires no food and has three different personalities patterns it'll go through depending on the age and sex of the person in contact with it. Any contact with SCP must be supervised by another person. If anyone interacts with this SCP alone, it will attack them and then remove their organs. A creepy bleeding mannequin who rips out organs. I wonder if they sell that on Amazon. Number two, SCP-1981. Do you guys remember Betamax? Well, if you don't, it was like the competitor for VHS back in the day. It was like Blu-ray versus HD before anyone had a color TV. Well, 1981 is a Betamax tape. Ooh, it's old and spooky. Well, it's a Betamax tape with Ronald Reagan's speech on it. Still seems pretty normal. The reason that this is on our list is while you're watching this tape, lacerations and cuts will start to appear on Reagan's face. And the speech that started as his evil empire speech turns into a speech that no one has ever heard from Ronald Reagan. What makes it even creepier is every time you rewind the tape and watch it again, it plays a different speech from the last time you were viewing it. All of the speeches have stuff to do with torture and dismemberment and are generally pretty brutal. There are only seven recorded viewings of this tape. Number one, SCP-280. This is by far the most dangerous one on the list. SCP-280 
280 doesn't really have a physical body. Think of a floating shadow that has two arms with long spiny fingers and large white eyes. It has no legs, just floats around. It is kept in a containment cell that is pitch black at all times. If anyone ever enters the cell, they must be equipped with a high powered flashlight and a strobe. You gotta rave with the monster. Not really, the strobes are for your protection. If 280 starts attacking someone, then you're supposed to shine the high powered flashlight on it. No physical action needs to be taken, you can't even touch it. If 280 is released, it'll find somewhere dark and kill humans, and then continue to wait for more humans to come and just kill them one by one. It's basically like a Call of Duty camper. All right guys, that's our list. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Uh, let us know in the comments which SCP you thought was the best and which one you would have added to the list. As always, I'm your host, Che Arena, and I'm gonna spend the next few hours going down a rabbit hole of all these different creations.